Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Olympus Sky for another exciting episode and uh, this time something different um, and I must say that I was disappointed more or less but um, you know I would at least like to say, tell you that um, there are you can't find anomalies everywhere they, they, I'm actually looking for a pattern um, when, when we're looking um, at moons and everything um, that's really what I want to focus on for um, for the moment but um, you know it's it's starting slightly to emerge at least um, for me that um, that it, it's mostly the outer moons that do contain lots of anomalies like um, like we covered yesterday in IP this part two be sure to watch both parts and uh, well it is somewhat of a task to watch it since it's in total one hour jeez I did not expect to uh, make another half hour video uh, but you know think about it like um, let's say you have 15 anomalies to show that's one and, all, and um, you uh, take one and a half minute uh, on every anomaly times 20 so it adds up quickly but I wanted to make a short video about this one Vesta is basically um, a dwarf planet um, that we have checked out on the way to Sirius and the image quality is I guess I've seen worse it's it's not as that bad but uh, it again it is very unfortunate that uh, this is all yet as you can see official link here we'll be covering two images quickly and so even though there's not much in here but i will share it on google plus the enhanced version you can check it out for yourself maybe you see some more but there are some interesting things that i did f find uh, basically on this image and the other one um there are two things here that i would like to point out so uh first of all let's start with this one as you can see i've been uh, messing around and such um i wasn't able to say for sure that this is like a pyramid or something and uh, well I it's kind of like we're lacking shadows here so uh, you know I looked at the pixels here uh, we're lacking quality as well if we will look at this it does look like a pyramidical mountain here you can see that there's a ridge here and there's a ridge here and you got some some shadow here some not a lot so what this is I don't know you know could be just a uh, it is enormous compared to um, you know the size of the dwarf planet here i think uh, how large was it again thousand kilometers diameter i believe not really that important like i said uh, you know i don't really care about size and everything but it's it's you know it's it's neat to think about this because uh well it's it's not a moon it's like solo orbiting just has its own orbit and everything i really need to check out actually the definition of a dwarf planet uh but anyways i'm super excited about series this year we'll arrive there i can't wait for some pictures though and uh let's uh, let's check something else out here so let's make this as quick as possible um i was looking at this and you all might well you might or might not notice this instantaneously that there is some really interesting patterns to this uh, pattern and you know I got this straight thing and you got this little box here and it has a shadow in the middle like um, there's actually a wall going around it as you can see so we got this little square there this interesting debris here I don't think it is necessarily a 90 degree angle here but um, yeah as you can see it is very interesting so you know what coincidence or not so this are these are basically the two things i want to point out um i believe that there's an optical illusion going around here but you know when you think about it it's it does look somewhat like a box but uh, you know i'm going i'm just going with a creator for the moment um yeah it is it is interesting there's these weird lines like it's it's just really weird and then you got this kind of elevated platform and uh, this one's a bit more natural here and um so let me know in the comment section what you think about this um just natural just just coincidence or is there something more going on i'm not sure what the hell is going on there but again so that's about uh, everything we will cover on this image uh, now let me show you before we will get into the uh, interesting anomaly here um this thing it um you know it, it's it's kind of like you see it immediately so it is interesting um i tried to check out this area as well but uh, the quality is um well not high enough so let's move on and let's stop checking this one out 
and let's check this one and so here's that thing that I was pointing out here and it looks very very interesting like I've never seen that in a crater and it's like like it's it's curved you know uh, you can see right there and then kind of broken off and you got another curve here like a not an interesting curve, no idea what this is, but let's zoom in because you won't notice this immediately. And uh, I'm definitely not claiming immediately that that's indeed something going on, aliens, UFOs, you name it, and anomalies. Uh, it's, it, it is still technically an anomaly because I don't think it belongs here. And, I create it and then you got this kind of squared off thingy, and very, very vaguely, we I was able to pull out uh, this here, and you can see it's it's weird i'm not sure you know I'm, I'm basically just just lost in this image so i was checking out that the uh, overbright and parts here and um you know like i always say it's it's not just about you know finding crazy stuff it is also you know a great joy to check out these uh these you know very unique uh, natural formations so I wasn't able to pull out anything here, so we went back to the old tactic, haven't used this for a while, sometimes I do, um, here and there when deemed necessary. <coughs> so what you will notice now, it's, it's, it's now more defined, we can look at it, um, I will switch it on and off so you can see. So the main patterns are the same, you can see uh, right here, you got this uh, crater like thing, it's still there, so nothing crazy going on there, it's, it's just a lot easier for your eyes. And uh, your eyes are, of course, really important because you, you need to look to understand. And um, it would be a sad day to, to become blind for me, I guess. Yeah, I would just lose one of my greatest hobbies. But anyways, let's let's not get too negative here. <laughs> let's, no, let's not make this a uh, crying uh, video, like a really sad one. Um, because I'm always excited, so, you know. Um... So I just want you to look at this and make things out for yourself. Um, this is really vague, don't have a lot of pixels here to work with. Uh, we got a little, you know, small square going on here. And um, yeah, let's check out this one because it does look like there is something going on there. I can tell you that, but I can't necessarily tell you, look, building this and that. It's, it's like this debris is very clustered, um, very kind of organically shaped, molten, uh, you name it. And, you know, there's this little small line here. You can see that there's some alignment here. Um, you know, coincident, just natural, or, you know, it's a cable going on. Who knows? Who knows? I wouldn't think too much about it, but nevertheless. So those are the uh, couple of small things I'd like to show you. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section if uh, you've seen something interesting here. Uh, let's turn this off. There's a little small one here. And, uh, by the way, I think um, there will be a part V IP this if you have enjoyed it. And I'm pretty sure nobody's going to watch the entire video till the end. I mean, it's half an hour. Anyways, but um, you can always click on Watch Later in YouTube. So you can add it to a Watch Later playlist thing. At least that's how I do it when I lack time. Uh, but it might be still be smarter to make it uh, two times 15 minutes So it will be easier to share because that's the whole idea behind it um, There's a little small thing here and this crater was really kind of different for me And I haven't pulled it out enough I see but it's it's very delicate This this image is very delicate you don't want to uh, Get too crazy here hold on what did I do here and so the reason why is actually because when you think about it, there's this whole mass here. It is um, elevated. And we get two lines going to the side. And um, yeah, I mean, all right. So I, I was, I took actually two weeks looking at this image, and I'm quite disappointed in the amount of anomalies. And I think that's that's this is kind of a video that I wanted to show as well. Uh, some people are thinking at the moment that like um, everything was populated, like literally everything, like uh, there are normally civilization things everywhere going on. And that's not entirely true, but uh, yeah. So let me know what you think about this one. I really want to do a quick one instead of making another half hour video. And uh, maybe later this evening or maybe tomorrow, who knows when. I will check out the IP this part free and um, 
Just let, leave me some feedback, always love feedback, I really need it, you know, it's a channel run by you in the end. And, uh, you know, thank you very much, and see you in the next video. I'll be going checking out some uh, curiosity as well, and, uh, you know, I really want to make another video, but we'll see how it will go. So, um, again, have a nice weekend, check you out in the next video, subscribe, like, and you name it. And, uh, enhanced version, our Google+, Plus. never forget that.